Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Mark Anthony Dyson, author of 219 Modern Job Search Tips for 2019. Mark, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks, Paul. Great to be here. Are you ready to get started? Yes, absolutely. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? I would say... Um, Take your time, uh, be thoughtful, be intentional, and be uh, be flexible as well. Um, sometimes in the publishing, uh, the self-published books that I've read, they do have that feeling of they've been rushed on a self-imposed uh, um, publishing deadline. I would say take your time. You don't want to make your readers feel like you're you're um they're taking your time as an author yeah i think that's a good point too take a little time double check everything you know, it's yes. great that you have the control to get it done but make sure it's a product that you're happy with and you're proud of because my philosophy is always done is better than perfect and don't be afraid to take the plunge but it doesn't hurt to take a little time double check it have some friends and family check it out if you work with a publisher have them look at it again because at the end of the day you have one shot to make a first impression and you want to make that first impression the best it can be yeah i would say even uh hire an editor and hire an yeah. editor that uh, I I have an editor that I work with for the articles that I've published that um, I want to make a great first impression. So I'll hire the editor that I use, and that's a big shout out to uh, the grammar goddess Susan Rooks, who works with me and also acts as my sounding board for my ideas because that also helps because my voice is as important as the words that are on the page. Yeah, and I, I'll tell you right now, editing and book cover design, if you're going to self-publish, man, that's where you got to spend your money. you got to get yep, a great absolutely. editor who gets you, understands your tone, your voice, and someone who's very meticulous. Get, I, I know we always talk about the words, uh, the phrase grammar Nazi, but you really need someone that's going to get in there, take a deep dive, and to catch those mistakes. And the other thing, of course, you got to invest in a great-looking book cover because if you can invest in those two key areas – then you're going to be in a much better shape going forward, especially if you're going to go the self-publishing route. Yeah, presentation is everything. Absolutely. Well, what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Well, when you self-publish even, and I'm going to take this route, when even when you self-publish, you're not objective about yourself. So you need some kind of... Uh, way to get feedback from your ideas without that feedback you're talking to yourself then you're taking a larger risk i think uh even more than publishing the book itself that you're you're saying some things that don't represent you and uh that's where i've had some really good help and it doesn't hurt to pay for that help every now and then because it, you want thousands of people to read it, and uh, you know if you're lucky enough to get hundreds of thousands, maybe millions to read. Um, most of us don't get that lucky, but we can't control the message that's out there, and uh, people just are not going to they're not going to uh, take seriously uh, ideas that just haven't been flushed out in a way that makes sense to the reader. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Since I write on several different platforms, um, I'm fortunate to be able to share those ideas and get people to come back to the site. And then, you know, it ends up, you know, a, a few thousand people who will sign up for the book and eventually my newsletter. And 
you know, I, I didn't consider it a book at first. Um, I consider it e-guide. I did one for 2018, the book in that version, and uh, had it edited, paid for the editor, uh, for the grammar goddess to look through it. Uh, did I pay her? I got. I think I did. <laughs> but <laughs> nevertheless, yeah, um, that helped in uh, making a big impression. And it got shared shared around a lot. Uh, some people shared it several times. Says you got to get this. And, and at first, I think it was just like a hundred and nineteen tips um, in two thousand. Let's see, it was one hundred eighteen, one hundred nineteen, one hundred eighteen tips. And actually, there was more than that. I think I ended up sending one hundred and forty something. Uh, so the value was also uh, critical. So when people get an idea, say, wow, I get all this value for just signing up, great. And people did. And I think that first year there was like uh, 2,500 that signed up um, in about uh, re- just a few months. And it was a beautiful thing because I had never thought of doing it before that way. And it ended up uh, going really well. So the, the e-guide basically had 118 specific tips that were in there, just focus on those key areas, and then that's what mm-hmm. you ended up putting out there. I'm going to say right now, that's one of the best strategies that we've had on the show, because creating those guides, something that people can read quickly. You know, we, When we were talking before the show, I was always joking around about, I refer to our podcast as Short Attention Span Theater, because it's always like 10 to 15 minutes, and it's almost the same mm-hmm. thing with the, with the e-guides, because it's great information, they can digest it quickly, and they can move on to the next thing, because you and I both know, when you read a book, 20% of the people actually ever get it finished but you know, we're actually you right. know, finished reading the book from, from the first page to the final page but when you have something like this 118 great tips awesome value that's something people are going to be really interested in and something that they're going to be able to finish very quickly yeah yeah and and I, that's the feedback i got back so that's why i did it again uh for the two, 2019 guide uh except i increased it by 100 tips and again it was edited it was vetted the ideas were clear, didn't have to worry about having a real fancy cover. I went to Canva to make a cover, uh, just just, uh, just so it would be a little bit attractive and, and that people want to read it. And even got more feedback uh, uh, during the year that people really found it valuable, that found something used. I'm not worried about them reading the whole book like a traditional book. Yeah. What I want them to do is to find opportunities and to put themselves in better position. And if it only took four or five tips, which a lot of people I'm sure did, awesome. Well, you bring up a great point too. Now, you mentioned Canva for the e for the e guide. Now, I want to put a disclaimer in there. So, we're not talking about a book cover. For that, no, you know, outsource that sucker. But for something yeah. like this, it's it's a great idea to use Canva, one of these other programs, and create something nice and professional. I love that. Yes. In fact, I'm making a note right now to download your guide after this because I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay. Okay. Isn't I mean, when you look inside of it, it's, it's you know, don't don't expect the earth to shake. But I do think. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, for people who you know, a lot of times people are looking to set themselves up for success. Why not get two hundred? And actually, there's more hundred more than two hundred nineteen tips. I think it came close to two fifty. I think, all in all. But again, it was about value about making it uh, plain and clear and people have something that they can put into their job search. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about your favorite book. So what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Yeah, uh, in the past couple of years, I think I've read like 20 books or so. Uh, The one that stood out... uh, was the book by Chris Foss, Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as Your Life Depending on It. Man, what a game changer as far as uh, communication uh, skills are concerned. And, you know, it, it applied to life and really your job search. And it just added a dimension that I, I didn't figure that it would um, provide for me and what I write about. So I referred to it in a couple of articles, in fact. Uh, um, I don't expect to ever hear from Chris Foss, 
but uh, it's, it, it's, it was something that really impacted me greatly as I uh, learned how the art of conversation and negotiation. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? Wow. That one, I, I had so many quotes that is, is, is not even funny. But the one I probably will come up with the quickest um, and that I looked at this morning and I've written about uh, was the one from Maya Angelou. Uh, those who learn can teach and those who get, those who receive can give it. I've got to find, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I think I murdered that uh, uh, quote, by the way. But uh, all in all, all it is saying is, is that people can learn by teaching and people can get by giving is ultimately uh, what it says, that your focus is more outward than uh, what you get. And that means a lot to me. Yeah, I have that same philosophy. It's... <laughs> And I wish I wish more people un understood that, especially businesses, is that when you give back, when you're constantly serving others and helping them, it all comes back in a wonderful way. We don't do it for that intention, but it's just the things that I've learned in business over the years is when you're helping people constantly, you're doing what you can to support other people, even other publishers, whoever, if you're helping others, it always comes back in a great way. But on the flip side, if you're not taking care of people and if you are out for yourself, you know, you might be successful right now, but eventually time is going to catch up with you because the truth always comes out in the wash. And I'm a huge believer in karma. What goes around comes around. I've seen it my whole Absolutely. life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the exact quote is, as I found it, uh, when you learn, teach, when you get, give. Yes. And uh, it's not uh, it's not about you. And uh, I look at, you know, honestly, I look at my sons as an, an example. Um, they both have always mentored people uh, younger than them. They volunteer. Um, my my youngest son. Uh, you know, is still trying to work out things in his life, but he goes over to his grandmother's uh, uh, several times a week. We didn't know until recently, just to help around the house. He doesn't ask for pay. He doesn't ask to for anything. He just wants to give, and he just started also volunteering at the VA uh, uh, hospital here in Chicago um, on Fridays. I mean, he, he's a giver, and I think he gets fulfilled by that. And that's the kind of kid he's always been. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think people just need to realize that the focus isn't – if you, you get more fulfillment by, by fulfilling others. Absolutely. Well, Mark, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? People could go to uh, – I'm Mark Anthony Dyson or Mark A. Dyson on all platforms. Uh, you can also go to the voice of job .com where my home, my blog, where there's plenty of articles, audio, video uh, to help with your job search. Mark, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Paul Ditto. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com.